Hi guys and welcome to your collective tarot love messages. In today's reading we're going to take a look and see why isn't your person communicating with you. Why are they staying silent, non-communicative, non-responsive um, or even if you guys are communicating why things are a little bit tense, awkward or uncomfortable between the two of you. If they may have, if they've if they have been growing emotionally distant lately, you want to see what's going on with them and what's going on with your um, with your energies in the current situation. There is going to be a part two to this reading, okay? So part two will be made available via the extension link below. This is going to be a general reading, so if you are a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is also going to be listed below the video. This is a collected tarot, mes um, tarot love message. However, I do believe that if you have clicked on this reading, there's something here that um, has guided you to listen to the messages contained in the reading. So, you know, the very things or the very people that we're drawn to is not random. It's not coincidence. So, you know, it, you've attracted this reading. You've attracted the messages. There's something here in the reading for you. Okay, be it big or small. So let's go ahead and begin. We want to see why your person isn't communicating, why they're not responding. Okay. This person, the energy is feeling very overwhelmed right now. Okay. Could have something to do with the fact that this person is constantly feeling very overwhelmed, or it could have something to do with the fact that there's a lot going on for this particular individual. Um, it's hard to exactly pinpoint what is exactly the primary source of this emotional overwhelmment because it could be a multitude of things okay it could be work matters it could be you know um a lot of emotions here and this person isn't able to manage process or handle their emotions for you um it could have personal they could be going through some personal issues some family issue issues they may be going through some things um i feel like the fact that this person is not communicating right now is actually is it is actually you know their silence the lack of communication is communicating something to you and you know their silence is speaking volumes this person this person is not ready to talk okay um, they just don't feel like um, not only don't they feel like talking right now but they don't feel like really telling you what's on their mind here um, there's a lot that's going on with your individual and um, I know it feels like they're giving you the silent treatment they're giving you the cold turkey treatment they're being um, you know, very um, dismissive of your communication and yourself, but, um, and it probably feels like to you, it probably feels like it's, you know, their lack of communication is, um, is a way for them to, or the lack of response is a way for them to conveniently opt out of having a conversation or even a connection with you. Um, it, here's the thing, it kind of is, when people do this, it kind of is a bit of a manipulation um, tactic. Um, it kind of sounds extreme but it's not all that extreme basically the silent treatment the fact that this person is withholding from you withholding communication or is not treating or is not communicating with you basically what that's doing is um, what, what what's going on is this person is using this as a way to gain control back of the situation and because you know they have a lot of emotion there's a lot of emotional overwhelmment going on in their energies um, this is their way of also trying to regain back control of some of the situations going on in their life that they don't really have a handle on it can be very hard to um, it can be very hard to understand but trust me that their lack of silence is a weapon okay they may not be consciously aware of what they're doing um, and um, you know, they may have very little idea of the, of the, you know, the fact that their, their lack of communication, just what kind of impact, a negative impact it has on you. But the silent treatment, it does emotionally become a pattern of behavior. 
okay, that is used to manipulate people over time. So I don't think this is the first time they've done it to you. I don't think it's going to be the last time they're, they're, doing, they're going to do it to you. Um, I feel like it's, it's also self-protection in a way um, because them not communicating to you means, hey, they get to avoid talking about their feelings. They get to avoid expressing their feelings. Um, it's very important for you to notice when they stopped communicating with you. Notice the last conversation um, you've had with them, the type of situation that you were in. You know, were things awkward already? Um, was, was the speed of the connection, the pacing of the connection, the relationship, was that accelerating? Um, just understand that, you know, I know you're not a mind reader, but they did have some things going on and this person... I feel like this is their way of also trying to protect themselves by avoiding um, talking to you. This isn't someone who communicates um, openly and easily, and especially when it comes to their emotions. They are a little bit, you know, stonewall or they are a little bit closed off. So this is their way of not having to tell you what's going on, not having to tell you, you know, whether this person has feelings for you, whether their feelings are developing for you. There is feelings, by the way. Okay, if you want to know whether or not your person has feelings for you or has an emotional connection with you, um, you know, there is that there. But there's also, you know, this person doesn't want to talk about that. This is someone who is um, avoiding having to do that. This is also someone who's very confused. And their confusion is then kind of fueling um, all of this chaos that's going on. Um, I don't think this is definitely not a healthy technique because it's not a healthy it's not a healthy cope, uh, coping technique because this is someone who's got a lot going on whether they feel like their emotions for you are growing and they're getting afraid this is something that they're becoming scared of they might be becoming scared of feeling this type of way for you they may feel as though you know their emotions and their feelings for you are growing stronger and stronger and maybe this is something that's very new and foreign to them and this is something that's scaring them off maybe they feel like the relationship is progressing at a fast pace what might seem very normal to you may seem very fast pacing to this person and instead of communicating that to you they you know decided to pull away and figure some things out on their own um Vulnerability is very hard for this individual, okay? They and they are feeling very vulnerable right now. This is someone who feels like they've got a lot going on. Um, there's a lot of emotions in the energies, and that's something that's very scary, and that's something that's very uncomfortable for this person. Um, I also see that this person can't predict what's going to happen, whether reconciliation is in the cards, whether a healthy, happy, you know, future is in the cards. Um, and I don't think that this person is open to sharing with you or with anyone else right now about what's really bothering them. Um, this is something that they particularly struggle with. Okay. Um, I feel like there's, there's a lot. I feel like there's more than just one reason as to why this person is acting weird, distant, or not communicating with you right now. Okay. Um, they are confused. Emotionally, they're confused. And I'm going to be very blunt when I say this, but your person is not 100% sure on you, okay? If they were, they would be with you, okay, right now. So this person is a little bit confused. They have feelings for you, but, you know, how deep do, do these feelings go? How, um, you know, how strong are these feelings for you? Do they feel the same? Um, are they safe having these feelings with you? Um, is it worth developing um, those emotions with you and building a connection with you? So there's a lot that they're thinking about, that there's a lot that there's tr they're trying to process and um, consider. Um, the other thing is, you know, they're also scared about, there's this fee in them, in their energy. They're scared about opening up and talking to you about their feelings because they might feel like they come across weak. Um, maybe it's, you know, they've tried to do that in the past, but they've been met with resistance and they've been shut down um them also scared that it might you might see them differently or you might see them negatively or it might change your relationship and your connection with this negative negatively on top of that i also feel like they're trying to figure out things some things that are going on in their own personal world so they could have money issues going on they could have work issues going on they could have a falling out with a friend or a colleague um they could have you know some some big things happening um, and what's happened is 
as I've mentioned, them pulling away, them not communicating with you is them trying to get a control. They're, tr they're trying to get their control back over their emotions because right now their emotions are running in all sorts of directions. They're scattered. They're all over the place. You know, they don't know whether they're coming or going with their emotions. This is their way of trying to rein back, trying to rein it back in. I know it seems cold and I know it seems very dismissive and very, um, uh, you know, very distant for you. Um, and it, it is a little bit manipulative um, because, but I, here's the thing, I don't think they're thinking about that. I don't think they're thinking about how their lack of communication or how they're treating you, how it, that is impacting you. They're thinking about what's going on with them and they want to take back control in their own personal life because there's a few other things going on and this is what they do. They pull away, they shut down because they want to give themselves the space to process their emotions, the space to take some control back over their lives. Um, it's not a healthy way of dealing with the situation. It isn't. Okay. Um, they're probably better off communicating with you that they need this space. You know, they need to figure some things out. Um, they're overthinking some things. I don't know if they're overthinking something you've said, or I don't know if they're overthinking a situ your situation with this person. The thing is, I mean, you've got some wonderful cards here. The Six of Cups, this is a nostalgic energy. So just because this person isn't communicating with you, doesn't mean that they don't think about you from time to time. They do, okay? They feel like a, there's this connection there. They feel like, you know, they've bonded with you and there's long-term potential with this connection. They also feel like a closeness with you that they haven't felt before. And I think this scares them. It scares them because they love you or they see themselves falling in love with you. It scares them because they've never really believed in, you know, soulmates and here you are. And this is something that they're starting to think that, hey, you know, it, ca it could actually be a real thing. It scares them because they notice that, you know, you potentially, you know, you do love them or you could love them. And they acknowledge that this is something that's, you know, it could, it could be a wonderful thing. They acknowledge that this could be something long term and this could be something worth it. Um, and, and it scares them. All of this scares them. Um, I feel like, I feel like there's like a lot of space in the energies here. I know it sounds, I don't know. Is it because, is it because you guys are creating, the lack of communication is creating space for a conversation that you guys didn't have? Or you guys need to have because you there's potential in the cards but you guys need to lay the foundation for trusting each other you need to lay the foundation for a healthy relationship and you need to be honest with this person how their silent treatment is making you feel because you're you know you feel hurt you feel ignored you feel disrespected you know they need to know okay um, and I think that that might be something that you should bring up next time that you know you guys do have a conversation try and keep it away from playing the blame game okay try and instead you know focus on you and how it makes you feel instead um, but I feel like there's something here in the cards that seem to indicate that you guys both need the space so not only them so in a way without them knowing they're kind of giving they're kind of doing you a favor because you also need the space to figure some things out, sort some things out. And I don't know whether it's because they're emotional um, things that you need to sort out or you need to sort some things out, you know, in your own um, personal world here. I feel like they tried to write some sort of message to you or they have been thinking about writing a message to you, something along the lines of them being hurt. Um, they do think that this isn't, you know, they know or they will acknowledge that this, the way they've been treating you is not fair to you. So I do see communication, guys. I do see that there is, like, this is not the end, okay? Just because you guys are not communicating, just because you've taken a break or there's a disconnection, let me tell you, it's not the end. You know, there's a lot of um, slick, cyclical patterns, okay? So, you know you guys are going to come back together again. You guys are going to cross paths together again. Lines of communication will be open. There is a reconciliation and there is a reconnection, okay? This person is going to play a significant role in your future. You know, I see I see things working out. In fact, things are going to work out for you. 
okay um, we'll talk more about the communication side of things in part two of the reading but just going back to I feel like there's a message some of you you might have received something along the lines of or you will be receiving something okay something along the lines of them they may say look um, they know that they've been very quiet lately and that they they will acknowledge they have acknowledged whether they've admitted this to you or not that the way they've been treating you is not fair but they're hurt and I don't know if that's because they feel hurt by you or they feel hurt by something you guys said or done to one another um, they're just trying and confused they're hurt and confused and they're just trying to get some space lately they're trying to get some space um, they will be in touch when they're ready to talk so they're not ready to communicate it's as simple as that um, and I know silent treatment is probably not very pleasant for you but it is an unhealthy behavior of theirs and it is a pattern of theirs as well so this pattern will potentially co communicate okay it, uh, sorry this pattern will continue it doesn't make them a monster it doesn't make them a bad person but they do need to be pulled up about this in part two of the reading I just want to explore when the communication will start with this person okay and how you can potentially interrupt this pattern of them going them shutting down emotionally or them go, growing cold or distant every time you know they've got a few things going on um, okay so follow me to part two of the reading via the extension link below for those of you interested in a personal reading feel free to reach out um, if you haven't already guys please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to this channel bye for now